Carbonated fruit flavored shots and beverages claim they can help you relax, but do they work and are they safe? Fox 32's Tisha Lewis joins us tonight with more on the popular drinks. Tisha. Well, Jeff, the relaxation drink revolution is on the rise, and so are questions about its effects and effectiveness. The anti-energy drinks are in the soda aisle and boast it's an alternative to booze, medicine, and more. I'm drinking at the moment Coma Unwind Zero, and uh, we also have the Coma Shot, which is the two ounce. The claims are bold. Five hours of relaxation just minutes after the first sip. The recent rise in relaxation drinks has many asking, does it work? Oh, it definitely works. We Skyped with Coma Unwind CEO Brian Weber, who said last year the company made more than $4 million, and in the last three months, revenue has doubled. And he's not alone. This Hyde Park convenience store was sold out of Marley's Mellow Mood, another anti-energy drink in the booming relaxation beverage market. This is a drink. We're moving fast here. The people really like it. But Dr. David Zeke is not sold. They contain a bunch of different compounds to help us relax. Uh, they include melatonin, kava, valerian root, uh, this L-theanine, which is in green tea leaves. Uh, however, they're not all exactly what they're chalked up to be. Zeke says the compounds degrade quickly in liquid, melatonin can have harmful side effects, and the ingredient levels are too low to truly create a relaxation effect. I don't know what product in particular he tried, but our product, without a doubt, you know, 30 minutes and you have to surrender because our product works and it works very well. When you have people well, calling... When you say that, 30 minutes you have to surrender, that means if you're driving, you need to not be driving? It doesn't put you to sleep. But it, you know, it, it offers you uh, it offers you relaxation. Taken with the proper precautions, it should be fine. In fact, most of these drinks should be safe, but they may not be worth your money. Tell that to the 31,000 plus Facebook fans of Coma and Wine. Most relaxation drinks are considered a dietary supplement and are not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. Jeff, back to you. All right, Tisha, thanks.